Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist TJ Del Santo. Just issued, we have a tornado warning in effect till 1145. It's radar indicated. It's right on the edge of New Bedford, Fairhaven, and on over into Mattapoisa, right in here. In fact, oh boy, you can see that. Uh, looks like a classic debris ball signature uh, right over near, near Mattapoisa. Uh, just crossed over from New Bedford uh, into Fairhaven, on over into Mattapoisa, right in here. What this means is that there is a tornado indicated by radar that is moving away from Fairhaven and uh, working its way through Mattapoisett, heading on off to the north and east. Uh, what we're looking at is the wind velocity, where the winds are, are moving in two different directions. Right in here, we're seeing a bit of a twist in through Mattapoisett. In fact, I'm going to zoom in on this little area so we can get a, a better feel for what neighborhoods that we're talking about. Again, we have a tornado warning uh, issued for uh, parts of uh, Plymouth County in Massachusetts, right over the Bristol County uh, border. Let's zoom in and we can get a better feel for the area that we're uh, talking about. If you're familiar with the area, Wolf Lake, Tinkham Town, that's the region that we're talking about uh, over in just over the border in um, Plymouth County, Fairhaven and Mattapoisett. Now what we're looking at here is a, a bit of a spin in the atmosphere where the winds are, are kind of rotating around. This is a radar indicated uh, tornado currently uh, issuing a, a tornado warning for uh, right over the border from uh, Bristol County into Plymouth County from uh, Fairhaven on over into Mattapoisett and it's moving along pretty good. Uh, let's get the latest from the National Weather Service. It's uh, moving northeast at about 20 miles an hour. Uh, there's a possibility for some flying debris and anybody uh, caught out in this, including if you're in a mobile home, you could uh, certainly sustain some damage. Again, we have a tornado warning in effect for uh, the Mattapoisett area working its way on off to the northeast at a pretty good clip at about 20 miles an hour. Kind of broadening out a little bit. We've been tracking these showers and thunderstorms throughout much of the uh, morning hours. The sun's out in Newport right now and it's probably coming out in Fall River and probably even into New Bedford as well. But it's that area right over the border there in Mattapoisett. A lot of lightning associated with this as well. Just a, one more danger to be uh, concerned with uh, this uh, weather system that's currently blowing on through. So as a reminder, we don't get tornadoes around here very often. You know the drill, stay away from windows anytime you get a thunderstorm uh, into our area. Go to the basement, especially during a, a tornado warning or an interior room. If you don't have a basement in the lowest floor of your house, that's where you want to go. Underneath the stairwell in the basement, a, a good place to be. Put as many walls between you and the tornado. And uh, just to give you an idea where we're talking about again, it's right here in, uh, looks like Mattapoisett, uh, near Rochester and Mattapoisett, right in here, moving right over 195. There could, at the minimum, be a funnel cloud there, and it could potentially be a tornado on the ground, about ready to cross over 195. And it's moving pretty quickly on off to the north and east at about 20 miles an hour. And again, what we're talking about here is no longer in Bristol County, Massachusetts, that tornado warning, no longer uh, of a problem here, but it's out in Plymouth County, right over the border in uh, Mattapoisett and Rochester. Again, a lot of lightning associated with this. And just a reminder, uh, try and get to the lowest level of your home. Stay away from windows. If you don't have a basement, get into the interior part of your home. The important thing is put as many walls between you and the outside of your house. I want to take a, a kind of a, a broader view here and of what we're talking about. Again, a tornado warning for uh, Mattapoisett and Rochester area. Uh, there's a, a fairly large severe thunderstorm warning for parts of southeastern Massachusetts with the possibility of a tornado. Tornado uh, within that area and the National Weather Service just a short time ago issued that tornado warning and it's what we call radar indicated meaning that the radar is indicating that twist in the atmosphere it hasn't necessarily been spotted on the ground but it's something that we're watching for very closely you know, Katie's here uh, kind of looking over things to see if uh, maybe somebody has spotted it on the ground and if it's going to be anywhere it's going to be right in this area here uh, Mattapoisett moving over at 190.
95 near Rochester. What's that front street? It's approaching that area right in here and it'll continue to work its way on off uh, to the north and east at about uh, 20 miles an hour. So this is an, an active tornado warning meaning that a tornado has been indicated on radar. And just by looking at this a little bit, it's kind of losing its, uh, uh, you know, tight couplet that we call it, where the green and the, and the uh, red is currently working um, uh, away from each other. But still, there's an active tornado warning for parts of uh, southeastern Massachusetts. Now, other towns in the path of this include Marion and probably eventually Wareham as we work its way as it works its way on off to the uh, north and east at about 20 miles an hour. So again, we have a severe thunderstorm warning for a good portion of Bristol County, including New Bedford. And we're also looking at that tornado warning. The tornado warning is in this purple box that you see here, including uh, parts of Mattapoisett and Rochester. Now, typically tornadoes around here are not very strong. Usually maybe we'll get at what we call an EF zero winds of like 85 miles an hour, perhaps up to an EF one with winds of maybe up to 110 miles an hour. And they can certainly do a lot of damage, can certainly take some trees down. And I remember just a few years ago, we had the thunderstorms and the tornadoes up in North Providence and Lincoln. There was one case where a tree branch came right through somebody's window. Fortunately, those people moved out of that room just seconds earlier. So that's the kind of damage that can happen with th these kind of winds. And whenever you have a tight culpit like this, that's what we're looking at, uh, possibly of a, uh, a tornado. At the minimum, you could still be getting winds gusting to 60 miles an hour with this uh, storm system. Now, again, it's moving out of our area and much of Rhode Island right now probably in the blue sky. There are a couple of more showers and thunderstorms uh, working through a northern Bristol, uh, northern uh, Bristol County and northern Providence County in Rhode Island. That's where we actually have a, a flood warning, a flash flood warning still in effect. But the worst of this uh, weather currently out across southeastern Massachusetts and moving away from New Bedford and Fairhaven. That's again, we have a tornado warning, Rochester and into uh, Mattapoisett, Massachusetts. We encourage you, if you live in that area watching us, get away from the windows, get to the lowest level of your home. And uh, we are looking at uh, uh, some improvements very shortly. It's kind of losing its punch a little bit. The, you know, the greens and the reds aren't necessarily touching each other as much anymore but it's certainly still possible that uh, there could be some, at the minimum, some strong winds moving through in between Rochester and Mattapoisett down 195, likely headed toward Wareham over the next uh, 15 minutes or so. Because this up, looks like they may have just updated a little bit. Uh, because the system is moving out of our area and more toward Cape Cod right now, I think we're gonna sign off on this, but of course, we're gonna have a lot more information about all the weather for today. You can get that at WPRI.com. And of course, we'll have the latest info on 12 News at noon. Hope you can join us then.